appear to be in real trouble. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. There's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if... You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he's like, oh, he's out. Need some more, guys. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Big ground and pound. All right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The cut men have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face area. Yeah, they're working full. They're working full tonight. I mean, the cut men are having to try to piece these two together after every single round. But this has been fun. This has been a fun fight between two incredibly tough mixed martial artists, and they are laying it on the line. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend it. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. Gaethje's in half guard now. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, good defense, yes. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Chandler's right back to the full mount. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut. Oh, heavy shots raining down. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Great shot on top by Chandler. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Gaethje gets tattooed by that elbow. These are raining down now on the ground. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, 
Rogers up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Chandler. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight. Crazy, both fighters dealing with critical damage and cuts. There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and give applause to these two men who are laying it all out on the line in the octagon tonight. Both dealing with cuts, both critical, but both unwilling to take a step back to your entertainment. Big punch, man. Well, block that punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that one. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the octagon. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Beautiful kick to the body. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that over. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, uh, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Two minutes to go. Chandler's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back in the clinch. Chandler's eye is starting to swell now. Work that cut. Work that cut. Good jab by Gaethje. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Under a minute to go in round four. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but he's not receiving it of those types of strikes. Nice leg kick there by Michael Chandler. Well, we know you oh! Superman punch. How about it? Uh, Buzzer sounds for uh, the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Well, if you like blood, 
and I do. This is the fight for you. Both guys handing out facials. Hardly recognizable compared to the fighters that walked out here just recently. Yeah, for sure. They don't even look like the same guys. They told us time and time again that this would be a fun fight. This is an evenly matched fight, and both of them would look to finish. That is exactly what they are doing. Our next round is upon us. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. All right, what a moment for Justin Gaethje, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, getting it done by knockout tonight. You know what I'm going to do when I get back to my room tonight? I'm going to try to find the most boring Justin Gaethje fight of all time. It doesn't exist. There are none. Everyone's fun. And it's all because not only is he willing to fight, he's got a ton of skills. And tonight he showed that. And he gets a massive victory by knockout.